It's, it's me, Miss Tina from Christian Life Center. I miss you all so much. I can't wait till we can see each other again. It will be a happy and joyful day. Speaking of happy and joyful, that reminds me of a Bible verse, Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Some of you may remember that Bible verse. It was one of our memory verses. So let's talk about joy and happiness and their difference. The word happiness is an emotion that can change with the circumstance. For example, you could be happy when you get your favorite snack, such as a donut, going to the park, riding your bike, playing with your toys, or getting a new puppy, or getting a Happy Meal from McDonald's. Yum! Mm. But you know what? What happens when you've eaten your donuts and your McDonald's and you're not hungry anymore? Or when your new puppy has an accident and your parents say that you have to clean up the dog poop? Ew. That cute little puppy now made a stinky mess that you have to clean. You're probably not so happy now. You see, happiness can change depending on what's going on. Joy is something much deeper. Joy doesn't come from having things. It's stronger and not affected by the things in life. We can have joy when things are going wrong. Have you ever had a day when nothing goes right? Maybe you go to the kitchen and you pour yourself a bowl of your favorite cereal. You open that refrigerator and there's no milk. Ugh. Or you eat dinner and you remember, oh, there is one ice cream bar left in the freezer. So you run over there and it's poof, it's gone. Your brother ate it. We all had days that didn't work out. Did you know that we can still have joy even on our worst day? You can have joy from knowing Jesus and having him in your heart. We can have joy in knowing how much he loves us. The Bible says, Psalm 16, 11, You reveal the path of life to me. In your presence is abundant joy. I'm not talking about this kind of present. I'm talking about presence. The word means being around a person. I'm going to tell you a story of Paul and Silas. It's in Acts 16, 16 through 40. Paul and Silas were missionaries. They went around telling people about God. They were in a town called Philippi. They met a girl slave who had an evil spirit in her. She would predict the future and made her owners a lot of money. Paul was sad when he saw the girl and he commanded the spirit to leave the girl by the power of the name of Jesus and it left the girl. Her owners were so mad at Paul and Silas that they took him to the town judge and other people in the town joined in on their anger. They said Paul and Silas were stirring up trouble and teaching things that were not of their law. Paul and Silas were beaten and whipped, chains were put on their feet, and they were put in the innermost part of the prison. No windows and it was dark. It sounds a little scary, huh? There was a guard placed there to keep an eye on the prisoners. If the prisoners escaped, he would be killed. Do you know what happened next? It's going to sound strange to you, but this is what happened. Paul and Silas began to pray and sing praises to God. Can you imagine that? There they are, all beaten up and sore and in this dark place, and they begin to praise God. Wow. As they were doing this, an earthquake happened. 
all their chains fell off of the prison, fell off of them. The prison doors flew open. The guard woke up and Paul shouted, don't harm yourself, we are still here. The guard called for light and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He asked them, how can I be saved? They said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you and your family will be saved. And they were. Do you think Paul and Silas did anything wrong to be put in jail? No, of course not. Do you think it was fair? No, of course not. Paul and Silas had joy because Jesus was with them in that prison. They were able to sing praises because they knew Jesus was with them. They were able to pray and worship because they knew Jesus was with them. They had joy because they knew Jesus was with them. I would like you to remember that God who was with Paul, the same God that who was with Paul and Silas in that prison is the same God today. He will never leave you. He will always be with you. It's a promise from God. So don't forget that. And one more thing. Nothing is too big for God to do and nothing is too small for him to do. He loves you very much and he wants to hear from you. Whether it's a thank you or it's a prayer request. I miss you all and I love you very much. Next we have a video to show you. It's something fun and silly and I want to challenge all of you out there, you grandparents with your grandkids, your mom, your, you know, your mom or your dad, your brothers and sisters, I want you to do this challenge because our family did it and it was just so much fun we couldn't stop laughing. I hope you enjoy it. God bless you and I love you. Bye. Thank you.